Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a really great day today. In today's video, I'm gonna do a couple different things for Xavier. I'm a little emotional about it, I'm not gonna lie. Um, he is two and a half years old, if you are new here, and we tried to get him or allow him to do things. So, and what I mean by that is, um, he helps me with his milk. So I will give him, we use else nutrition for his like milk. So I'll give him his, um, like his cup with the water in it and I let him put it in the microwave. He opens it up, our, mi our microwave is under the countertop. So he'll open it up, he presses 30 seconds and start. And I try to let him do things like that with me because he loves helping and being a part of things. So. We're gonna do two different things today. Up in this cabinet up here, I'll show you in a minute, I have all of his plates, bowls, um, snacks, which those will be staying up there because he loves snacks. Um, but he has, a lot of his things are up there. And when he wants something, he will go over there and point. So over in this cabinet down here, there's um, two doors and then two pull-out drawers, and I want to move all of his things to the top drawer there. I do have some of these little um, like Tupperware containers, and if he wants like goldfish or his little Annie's like um, graham crackers, he will go get one of these dishes out of that cabinet and ask for them that way. So what I may even do, so I can put some snacks in there, I'll have to test it to see how it goes, but maybe fill up a few of these, like one with um, goldfish and one with graham crackers, and then this way he can just go take it himself. So maybe we'll try that. Um, but I want him to be able to feel like he can do his own things. Um, and then I wanna put his forks, his spoons, all of his utensils, like anything that he would normally use down in that drawer. Now that is our Tupperware drawer, so I'm gonna have to do some shifting. I don't know, I didn't really put thought into where I'm gonna put that stuff, so I have to figure that out. I do have, like some of these cabinets are not totally full, um, but then, also, if you are new here, I'm 21 weeks pregnant. That cabinet that has his stuff in there, I will wind up rotating out for baby girl stuff. So all of her bottles, formula, all that good stuff. So that's gonna be the first project. And then the second project, I want to, let's be clear, I don't want to. I'm gonna convert Xavier's bed into a toddler bed or his crib into a toddler bed. Um, he's been able to crawl out of his crib. Not that he ever has, but since he was like 16 months old, he's been able to put his foot up on the top and like he'll plank across it. So months ago, I dropped his mattress in like this, the spring that attaches. I dropped it all the way to the floor so he can't do that anymore. Now I'm emotional about it because obviously that means he's getting older and he's not like a little baby anymore. However, I'm a little nervous because how do you keep him in there? and it is the beginning of January. The holidays have totally screwed up his sleep schedule. He was going to bed later, waking up later, taking a nap later, then going to bed later. Like 10 o'clock some nights, this kid is like still ready to be running around the house playing with dinosaurs and like jumping in his bounce house. So I'm a little nervous, but it is a Friday evening or afternoon, so I figure Saturday, Sunday will give us a couple days so that he can hopefully adjust. He is napping right now. It's about 3.30, so he should be getting up um, momentarily. So that's what I have planned for today. I'm not, I'm kind of excited, but I'm not because it's like another end of an era and it's just sad. He's getting so big. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started.
I'm Xavier. Did you sleep in your big boy bed all by yourself last night? Like a big guy? <laughs> yeah. I know you did such a good job. You stayed in there all night. Huh. You're getting so big. You ready to go to swim lessons? Yeah, I'm Yeah, you ready? You got your shoes on? <laughs> we got Mr. Fox, our book, some cars. We're ready to go, huh, kiddo? All right, my love. I just have to pack up a few things for swim. I'm gonna take this bag. I don't know what to expect, so I'm gonna take a hair dryer and hairbrush, swim goggles, which he's not going to wear. I will be swimming with him, so I have my bathing suit on. That's a towel for me. His little gift certificates for swim, a pouch for afterwards for, just in case he's hungry, some Q-tips. I hate having water in my ears, so I'm gonna bring that for him. This is his like calm roller, some antibacterial, and then my wallet, key, sunglasses, phone, his towel. And then I did forget swim diapers. So we have to do a target pickup on our way. We'll do this one. I hope that these still fit them. They're all 18 months. Swim lessons went so well. I'm so proud of him. He went underwater quite a few times too, which the instructor's like, all right, now we're gonna dunk him. And I'm like, what? I don't wanna dunk him. Like, <laughs> but I knew that it was my fear, not his. So we did it and he did really well. Like he had the shock of like, you know, going under and coming back up, but he handled it so well. Uh, the class was 30 minutes long and he did not want to get out of the pool. He full blown threw a fit which I knew he would, honestly. Like, he loves being in the water. So I wasn't really surprised by that, but it was difficult because I was in the water with him to have both of us with our towels, pregnant as all hell, with two bags and my big jacket. Um, it was pretty challenging. I definitely thought I was gonna forget something, which I didn't, so I was surprised by that. But I'll know for next time, um, like the structure of it and what will be easier for us so um, and plus I got there really early because I just didn't know what to expect so I'll know for next time but I'm really excited we're doing this because we do really want to get a pool this year if we can find someone to do it this year um, we have someone but who knows what that's gonna look like but um, water safety is so important and I know it's like the beginning of January, it's literally 15 degrees outside, um, but I just, I want him to get as much exposure as he can so that when we do finally get a pool, he's comfortable. Um, obviously, you know, he will be watched at all times, but it's so heartbreaking when you hear these families that have this there's just way too many stories of children drowning in pools. So um, it's really important to us. So I'm really excited about that. Unfortunately, I couldn't film it because it was just him and I. Um, and I didn't want to just set up my camera because obviously there's other people and their children in the pool too. So um, yeah, so that was good. Um, I went home and he was like super tired too because the swim doesn't start till 11.30 and he usually naps around like 12, 12.30 ideally. Um, so I was hoping he wasn't going to fall asleep in the car and he didn't, thank goodness. And then he picked out these goat cheese and chicken raviolis from Trader Joe's. He pulled them out of the little fridge drawer. So we made those for lunch and he opened up his cabinet in the kitchen and I didn't even ask him to. Um, we showed it to him once yesterday and um, he opened it up and I said, okay, grab mommy a plate and I pointed to one 
And then I said, get mommy a fork. And I pointed to that and he got it. And then he closed the, he, like he pushed the drawer in and closed the doors. And I'm like, oh, he's getting so big. I can't stand it. And then I had to go show a house. So I told Eric, as soon as he's done eating, he has to go down for a nap. And again, we converted his bed last night. So I'm like wishing him luck from afar. And I, we have the Nana camera. So we have the app on our phone so I can see it. Like I, so I got a notification that there was motion. So I went on it as I was standing outside this house and I saw Eric like put him in bed. And then it was just cute to like watch him to see what he does because he knows he has to be in there. He did. I don't think I, did I update on last night? If I didn't, he slept in there all night last night and he did really well. Um, but you could tell he was like looking around and he like stuck his hand out the opening to see, like he's just testing the waters. So um, Eric took a screenshot and he goes, we got a runner and he did get out of his grip or out of his bed. And I guess what he did, I wasn't watching him the whole time, but Eric said he went, he has this little Mercedes car that's parked right next to his bed. He got out of bed, he hit the horn on it, and then ran back into his bed. So he knows that's where he should be. Um, but he, I think he'll kind of test the waters to see what he can do or get away with for a little bit with, which honestly, I expect him to do that. Um, I just hope that he stays in there when it's time to. Um, and I did also make sure to go through the room yesterday because his art card is in his room. Um, I made sure that, you know, and really, like, we're so good about, like, being on top. If, like, the motion sensor goes off or something to make sure that he's not, we, I mean, we check it right away. So it's not like he's unsupervised in there, but still, um, <laughs> it, like, emotionally is just crushing my soul how big he is getting. Um, between the bed, his first like planned activity today, and then um, having like all of his utensils in the drawer. It seems so silly, but this was a big weekend for him and a big weekend <laughs> for me. I'm a freaking mess and like it's such a proud thing, but also I'm just, I'm feeling all sorts of ways about it. So so anyways, I hope you guys really like this video. I am all sorts of emotional about it, but I'm glad that we did all of this stuff this weekend. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. And if you have not already, please subscribe. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. We're gonna have a lot of new stuff coming out uh, in the next couple weeks. So I hope to see you then. Until the next video, bye.